everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a Final Facts Planner versus a Lily Pulitzer Planner because I know this is the time of year where people start to choose what they're going to use for the next year or in Final Facts case for many years so I thought I would just give my like background on using both of them. I have them both here and which I think is better for different things. I think they're both really great planners but right now I'm using my Final Facts. So the background is I bought a file fax because I couldn't get my hands on a Lily Pulitzer planner because I live in Europe. So I got this, this is the Domino, it's the most inexpensive one. And I did really like it, but I wasn't using it very much. But then I was on holidays and these were reduced. So I got myself a Lily Pulitzer planner, put a monogram sticker on it. I just full on stopped using my file fax. And I started using this for college. So. Basically what I think is, I have like a list of pros and cons in my file facts that I'll look at now, um, but I think Lily Pulitzer planners are great for school. So looking at the Lily planner, it's just so pretty. So I'm just going to bring out my list of pros and cons and I'll talk about the Lily planner first and then the file facts and really my opinion on all of it all together. <laughs> so the pros of a Lily Pulitzer planner are, it's super pretty number one it's just gorgeous looking and all the pages inside are just so nice even like so it comes with stickers it has a pocket there look at the notes like i'll find a blank month i never really use the front month so well that's august okay that's fine that's really old but see how pretty that is and then when you go to the actual months themselves like that's a page i didn't use that's so nice so it kind of comes like pre prettified which I think is really great for school because you don't really have time to be doing it if you're like like decorating it I mean if you're just writing your homework in it and stuff it has everything you need it has your little address book it has a notes section and it has I love the little travel section you know like next adventure everything is all put together and I like how the month is right before the like the month to views before the weeks to view for each month. I think that's really handy and you don't really get that in a lot of file fax sets. So I do like that. They're kind of collectible, which you know, you get the different prints every year. I know a lot of people craft with the um, pages and things like that. So I think that's really cute and it's quick. You know, there isn't as much work involved as with a file fax because you buy your planner, that's it. That is a really big perk of having a planner like this because it's already pretty it's already all put together you've everything you need in one but the cons are it's kind of bulky it's kind of heavy this is the large one but I couldn't imagine using anything smaller than this Um, you know it's not ridiculous but even if you had it in a school bag it's really pretty heavy it's kind of bulky it's ring bound not spiral bound so these can pull off and mine even started to pop out at the back which is pretty annoying I really don't like ring bound things and it's kind of expensive every single year because what are they $35 or something and you have to buy that every single year whereas with a file of facts which I'll move on to now it's like you buy your one like shell basically and mine was only about 28 euro because I bought the domino and then I just buy pages every year and I can print those if I want to for free. So it really, the cost would build up if you were using a Lily Planner. So now I will just show you my Filofax. As I said before, it's a Filofax Domino. It closes with an elastic like that. And basically the pros of a Filofax are that it's totally customizable. So you can choose the outer shell. You know, with the Lily Planner, you've only got a few patterns to choose from every year or prints, but then again, they are lily prints, so you wouldn't really turn any of those down. But with the file facts, you can get something like this, or you can have a print. Or when I say file facts, I mean just like a like a ring planner. Do you know what I mean? Like you can get them from uh, Paper Chase. Have really cute ones as well, and they would have like fabric and prints and things like that. Or you could have a proper leather one with the clasp. That's really customizable, and then everything you put in it is put in there by choice. So you could put in just month to view if that's all you needed, or you can put in just week to view if you didn't want month to view. As much note paper as you want, an address book if you want. I don't have one. I don't need one. You know, um, you can print off your own inserts. Like I have an online order tracker and a workout planner. 
and then a different calendar for my work schedule. Everything I want is customized and it is put in here. And you can actually get so many free resources as well with the file effects. That's what I think is fab because if you follow me on Pinterest, my Pinterest is linked down below. Um, you can just follow my planner fun board if that suits you better. But I like paint a lot of free printables because I use them and they're really handy. Like, let me just find this one. So this is just a 24 seven weekly planner. So you can use it for whatever you want. And I use it for when I work out and I haven't been very good recently. But things like that, and I just put these little Kiki K stickers, my work schedule thing. You know, things like that, it's just really nice to be able to customize and put in your own dashboards like that. And so I can put a monogram decal on the front of this, but I can also have a monogram dashboard on this, which I really like. And, you know, so there are pros and cons. Let me just look at the cons, because I keep just talking really well about the file effects. Um, okay, just more pros. There's more room for decorating, and I'm pretty crafty, so I like to decorate things. Like, it's different every single week. I like that. You know, um, just taking that time just to relax and just put some, <laughs> put some washi tape down and some stickers. You know, that kind of suits me. I like that. And then I also have the possibility of printable inserts, which is just a huge pro for me. Cons are that it is more time consuming. As I said before, this is quick. You just buy it, it's good to go, you're done for the year. No decorating really necessary. Any, well, it's never necessary. You don't have to decorate, it's already like pre-decorated. Um, and there's just a lot more effort required in the setup of a file fax because you have to reorganize them the way you want and you might change it around, things like that. And it is expensive once off. So if you're buying like one of the original file faxes, I think they're like, what are they? They're like 90 euro or like 100 euro. And I wanted to try a file fax, but I did not want to pay that much. So that's why I got the Domino. And I thought that the Domino might not be as good quality and that the elast this elastic here might wear out and it doesn't at all. So I would actually highly, highly suggest the Domino because you can get it in so many cute colors and you can get it with like polka dots and stuff, or you can get it with, they don't, there aren't that many of them and it's like not patent and it's just like red leather with like a cream or a black elastic, which I think is really nice. It kind of looks like a Midori notebook. So that's a huge like perk <laughs> to that. Um, and then just kind of to summarize, I love both of these planners and I'm not actually saying that I'm not going to go back to this when I go back to college. I'm probably actually going to use this for assignments up until Christmas just because it's easy. You know, maybe I will just end up putting everything on my file facts. To be honest, I might. But I just love the design of a Lily planner that I'm actually probably going to remove the pages and turn them into inserts for a file facts, which I could I might suggest for other people or maybe I'll do a little video of how I figure that out because it's just so pretty, you know, I'm hoping that I'll be able to do some sort of, I better look at you instead of the planner. Um, I'm hoping that I'd be able to do some sort of thing where I can create an insert from here, including August. So I can just pop that in to my file facts because I have a single hole punch. And I think it would be really nice because I just love all the prints in this and I just feel like it's sad kind of letting it go because it's so pretty but it just doesn't work as well for me as a file fax does because it's not as customizable. And like for like blog running wise and things like that, for like example me for this YouTube and because I used to blog when I was younger, I would think a file fax is also better because you can just flick through pages more easily. It's just the format of it just works better with my brain. That's really all it is. It's really up to you, but I hope this video was some help if you are trying to decide which we're gonna choose. Um, I would, if you're not used to using a planner, I would actually say start out with this because, you know, you probably don't have the time, you aren't used to doing everything to do with the planner right away. And it's just super pretty, I love it. But a file of facts is a bit more, <laughs> advanced maybe but it's also super fun super customizable and it's almost like a diary you know more so than a lily planner is because it already looks the way it is but you choose everything in a file fax so it's like a diary setup is what i mean like you like stick photos in or you know um because there's so many different inserts with the file fax so for example let me just flick to this here i have a little page with this is a photo collage that was up on my wall, but then I cut it down so it would fit in this pocket. And then little photos of my dog as a puppy. And 
you know, you could glue those in or try and manage to put them into a lily planner, but I prefer having it, you know, right and secure in here. So that's it for this video. I hope it was some help to you. I know it was a bit all over the place and hopefully it's not too long. I always talk way too much. But if you enjoyed it, please subscribe. Um, I will be doing a room tour hopefully soon because I've promised that in some of my other videos which you should check out. I'll have my other file facts and planner kind of related videos linked in the information button. I think it's actually over here. And I'm just waiting for this one poster to come back that's being framed for my room to my room tour because I just redid it and I love it. It's so cool. Um, so make sure to subscribe to see that and give it a th give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Bye.